Have you ever wondered what lies beyond silicon in our technological future? This question might seem far-fetched, considering that our current tech landscape is firmly rooted in silicon. From the humble transistor to the most complex integrated circuits, silicon has been the building block of the digital revolution since the mid-20th century. Silicon earned its star status for a few reasons. It's abundant, making it cost-effective. It's a semiconductor, meaning it can control electrical current, a crucial property for electronics. Lastly, silicon's ability to form a native oxide layer makes it perfect for manufacturing purposes. But as we peer into the future, we begin to see the limitations of our trusted companion. Silicon-based devices are reaching their physical limits. As we try to pack more and more transistors onto a chip, we're bumping up against the laws of physics. We're at a point where we can't make them any smaller without running into issues like heat dissipation and quantum effects. Additionally, the energy efficiency of silicon devices is becoming a concern. As our digital lives continue to expand, so does our energy consumption. The world needs more sustainable solutions, and silicon might not be the answer. But fear not, the end of the silicon age doesn't mean the end of technological progress. In fact, it might just be the beginning of a new era. An era where we look beyond silicon to new materials that can push the boundaries of what's possible. We're talking about materials like graphene, a superconductor that's just one atom thick, or perhaps gallium nitride, a compound that could revolutionize power electronics. These are just a couple of examples of the materials that could shape our technological future. As we stand on the brink of a new era, it's time to explore what could be the next big thing in the world of semiconductors. Behold graphene, a material that has been hailed as a game changer. Picture this, a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a two-dimensional honeycomb lattice. It's so thin, it's considered a two-dimensional material. But don't let its thinness fool you. This material packs a punch. Graphene is renowned for its unique properties. It's stronger than steel, yet incredibly lightweight. It's flexible yet hard, surpassing diamond in terms of hardness. It's transparent, yet it's an excellent conductor of heat and electricity, outperforming copper. And unlike silicon, graphene retains its properties at room temperature, which makes it an ideal candidate for some futuristic applications. Now, why is graphene considered a breakthrough? Well, its extraordinary properties open up a world of possibilities. It's like we've been handed a new set of building blocks, and we're just beginning to explore all the things we can construct. Let's start with electronics. Graphene's superior conductivity and flexibility could lead to faster, smaller, and more efficient electronic devices. Imagine flexible displays, bendable phones, or even paper-thin computers. Graphene could also revolutionize energy storage with supercapacitors that charge in seconds and last for hours. In the medical field, graphene could be used for targeted drug delivery or as a material for artificial organs. It could also be used in water purification creating filtration systems that are more efficient and less energy intensive. In aerospace, graphene's strength and lightness could lead to lighter, more fuel-efficient aircraft. And in telecommunications, graphene could enable faster, more reliable data transmission. But it's not just about what graphene can do today, it's about the potential it holds for tomorrow. As we continue to explore and understand this material, who knows what other applications we'll discover. The possibilities are endless with graphene, but it's not the only contender in the race to replace silicon. While graphene is stealing the spotlight, other materials are making waves in the semiconductor arena. Let's begin with gallium nitride. This compound is a robust contender, with an ability to operate at higher temperatures and voltages than silicon. This makes it ideal for power electronics, such as those in electric vehicles or renewable energy systems. Gallium nitride can deliver a higher power density than silicon, meaning it can handle more power in a smaller footprint. This paves the way for smaller, more efficient devices. Next, we have germanium. While it's been around for a while, it's gaining renewed interest due to its high charge carrier mobility. This property allows electrons to move faster through the material, promising faster transistor speeds. Plus, germanium can handle more current than silicon, which could lead to more powerful processors. However, germanium's high cost and complex integration process currently limit its widespread use. Then there are carbon nanotubes, these are essentially rolled up sheets of graphene, forming tubes that are a single atom thick. Their unique structure gives them exceptional strength and flexibility, while their small size and electrical properties make them ideal for use in next generation electronics. From computing to medicine, the potential applications of carbon nanotubes are vast. Last but not least, let's not forget about silicon carbide. 
This material combines silicon's ease of use with the robustness of carbon, offering a high thermal conductivity and low electrical resistance. Silicon carbide is already being used in power electronics and has started to make its way into electric vehicle chargers due to its efficiency. These materials, each with their unique properties and potential applications, are shaking up the semiconductor scene. They're not just alternatives to silicon, they're potential game changers in their own right. These materials along with graphene are vying to redefine our technological landscape, but how feasible is this shift? Transitioning from silicon to new materials presents significant challenges but solutions are emerging. Silicon has been the foundation of our technological world for more than half a century. Its properties make it an ideal semiconductor and decades of investment have fine-tuned the processes for turning raw silicon into high-performance chips. However, as we look to materials like graphene and other semiconductors, we must grapple with the challenges of manufacturing and cost. Manufacturing these new materials at scale is not a simple task. They require precise conditions and techniques that are often vastly different from those used for silicon. For instance, graphene, a single layer of carbon atoms needs to be produced in a controlled environment to prevent defects that could impair its superior properties. This need for precision makes manufacturing complex and expensive. Cost is another significant barrier. Developing new manufacturing techniques, building new facilities, and training a new workforce all require substantial investment. Moreover, the raw materials themselves can be more expensive than silicon, and the processes to refine and shape them into usable forms can add to the cost. But don't fret. These challenges are not insurmountable. Researchers and innovators around the globe are working diligently to overcome them. For instance, new methods are being explored to produce graphene and other materials more efficiently and cheaply. These include chemical vapor deposition and exfoliation, which could potentially bring down production costs. Moreover, advances in nanotechnology are opening up new possibilities for manufacturing. With nanoscale precision, we can manipulate materials atom by atom, potentially reducing defects and improving performance. And as we gain more experience with these materials, we can expect the costs to come down, just as they did with silicon. Research and development are the keys to addressing these challenges. With continued investment and innovation, we can transition from the silicon age to a new era of materials that offer superior performance and new possibilities. Overcoming these hurdles will be key to ushering in a new era of technology. So, what does the future hold for semiconductors beyond silicon? The semiconductor industry is poised for a revolution. As we push the boundaries of silicon, the search for alternatives is not just about finding something new, but about unlocking untapped potential. Semiconductors like graphene and others stand at the forefront of this charge, promising a future that's not only different, but better. Imagine a world where our electronics are no longer limited by the physical constraints of silicon. Graphene, with its extraordinary properties, could allow for devices that are faster, thinner, flexible, and even transparent. This may completely reshape our interaction with technology, making it more integrated and seamless than ever before. But the impact goes beyond our smartphones and computers. Semiconductors have a role to play in every corner of society, from transportation to energy, healthcare to agriculture. With new materials, we could see electric cars with longer ranges and shorter charging times, solar panels that are more efficient and affordable, medical devices that are more precise and less invasive, and precision farming that is more sustainable and productive. Of course, this future is not without its challenges. Transitioning from a silicon-dominated landscape to one where multiple materials coexist will require innovation, investment, and time. But the wheels are already in motion. Researchers are making strides in overcoming technical hurdles, companies are investing in new manufacturing techniques and governments are fostering environments conducive to technological advancement. Moreover, we must also consider the broader implications of this shift. As we move towards a future where technology is even more ingrained in our lives, issues such as privacy, security, and sustainability will become increasingly important. It's a complex landscape but one full of opportunity for those willing to navigate it. The journey beyond silicon is full of uncertainties, but one thing is clear. We are at the dawn of an exciting new era in technology. And as we stand at this precipice, we can't help but be excited about the possibilities that lie ahead. The future of semiconductors is bright, and we can't wait to see where it takes us. If you like the content, please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates.